The current location of the Heronry is right outside the park board offices above a parking lot and some tennis courts and basically right adjacent to downtown Vancouver with apartment buildings on one side, tennis courts on the other and a parking lot on the other. So they're about as close to urban development as they could be, which is very strange for Great Blue Herons. They've nested in those trees now for the past maybe six or seven years and they have lived in other areas of Stanley Park for longer but this is their, their current location. It's in the middle of the city and you can't miss it and there it is. It's so visible and they're big birds so they're visible to people and they can watch their behavior. In any given day you can see 20 people standing under the heronry taking pictures. The herons chose to live next to us. Um, in most cases, we infringe on their habitat, and so a lot of herons in this area are, are in trouble because as people move closer to these colonies, they're very sensitive to disturbance. If they're not used to it, that can cause them to totally abandon the nest. So if there's a colony and, and they build a subdivision close by, that could cause that colony to disappear. Obviously there's rapid urban expansion in this area and so that's really a threat for the herons. But at the Stanley Park colony it kind of goes the other way. They've actually chosen to live in the city and so they're much more used to human activity. But that said, they're still sensitive. Sometimes people forget to respect wildlife, but I think most people really appreciate the birds and have a good respect for them. There's a lot of people very interested in the heron colony. I mean, we produce reports on what's happening during the season and what results we find. We talk to the media a lot about the herons and have a lot of interest from the public. I think herons are also just a symbol of the Pacific coast. You know, they live on the coast and they fish and everybody sees them that lives here because they do live in such close proximity to people. They're always on the beaches and we like to be on the beaches too, so we live together. I think, to me, they symbolize the adaptability of wildlife and animals that instead of being detrimented by people and they actually learn to adapt to us and they thrive in places where we do. I think that they're a good example of how humans and wildlife can live in close proximity and be very successful together.
I like to think that they'll be there for a long time and I'd love to see them there for a long time, but the nature of herons and heron colonies is that they usually don't stay in one place forever, so they'll probably leave at some point and move somewhere else, hopefully somewhere else in Stanley Park so we can keep watching them, but you never know where they're going to go.